Hey, what's up, guys? We're Lexpo back here, and today we're gonna be playing some Arena Warrior. Uh, before we get too far into it, I'm gonna excuse if I sound like I am fucking dying, but that is because I feel like I am fucking dying. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I think I've come down with a little bit of a cold and whatnot, so yeah, I, I feel like death. <laughs> it's not pleasant at all. Um, but yeah, no, today we're playing Reno Warrior. This was a deck that was suggested to me by a viewer. So again, if you guys have any decks you guys would like to see, please uh, leave them down below and I will attempt to get to all of them. Um, but yeah, no, this deck just looked like a lot of fun and I wanted to play it. So I'm playing it and it's, I don't basically have anything else to say besides that. Um, so how about we queue up the first game and let's see how it goes. I guess. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the first game. All right, sorry if you uh, hear me fail, apparently at cloaking a bottle. Um, yeah, no, I was just pouring myself a drink. Uh, so I guess I hope everybody else has a drink. I'm currently drinking me some Dr. Pepper. Partially because I feel like I can't eat anything because every time I try to eat something, it feels like I'm stabbing myself in the throat over and over and over again, which believe it or not, is not the most pleasant thing on the planet. I assume this is aggro, so I'm gonna keep um, the health gain in my hand. Um, oh, I just noticed how loud my music is. All right, I'm gonna have to remember to lower that uh, in post. Uh, okay, that is. Is that the only rush me in the deck? Can't be the only rush me in the deck, right? Because there's Neptalon as well. Yeah, no, we would have obviously preferred Cargus here. As much as I hate the play, I think I'm forced to minefield that to save health. I could have just hero powered, and then in which case, I would have probably taken four, is my guess. Um, like down to um, 36. But I'd rather just do that here. I would have taken more than that. Uh, the location would have been nice. Would be nice to draw here. Oh, that's actually not a bad draw. Hopefully he doesn't have weapon. Hopefully he just hero powers. That'd be best case scenario for me. But he kept the other two cards in his hand. So my guess is either they're either pirates he's hoping they combine with ship's cannon or their weapon. Yeah, weapon. Hopefully he misses on a pirate. That'd be optimal, I guess. Yeah, no, we're going to take way too much damage off that. Um... Alright, so I guess my play next turn is just man the cannon's watch post. Yeah. Ooh. That can get me a woodcutter's axe. I'd rather do this here. I could always do Corsair's Cash for a Civi Plate next turn into Cargath or a weapon the turn after. I'm just basically trying to stay as healthy as possible. He has very little cards in hand. Um, that's really bad for me. That's good for me that it saved me six health. But that's bad for me because I don't actually have a way to kill that thing. That's only four damage. Uh, how the fuck do I kill that thing? I need to get a piece of removal on top of what I have in hand, which is not ideal, but it is what I need in order to be able to win the game. Okay, I need like Barov. No, Barov doesn't even do it. I guess. Starfish could be good. Starfish would not be bad. Location could be interesting. That is arguably the worst draw in my deck. 
I'm dead. <laughs> I am beyond fucking dead. Um, I don't have a way to deal with that. That's... I just assume I'm dead. I guess Zephyrus could be good as well. I, I always forget that Chaos Nova is a card for Zephyrus, which means that if I do top deck Zephyrus next turn, it is a board wipe. Uh, Brawl could be interesting. Rakara could be interesting. Yes. This ain't ideal. I was a little bit late. I guess I can draw a piece of removal to kill off my own Barov. I have to do this, I guess. It's not ideal. Bruh. Come the fuck on. That is beyond disappointing. I was hoping to hit like, you know, Shield Shatter or like Naphtalon, just gain 10. Be back in the game, or even Arena to gain 6 would have been beautiful. I mean, Bash is not the worst card, but at the same time, I definitely feel like I'm just dead here. He hits, hits, I take 6. 7. I know this is super greedy to do this play, but... I have to do this because to play around Swordfish number two. But I feel like I have to continue drawing until I hit Reno. If I hit, if I survive this turn, then I hit Reno, I'm fine. But the odds that he doesn't have missed... Uh, to be fair, he can't go something else. Oh, he can go one drop Pirate plus Mr. My... No, he's played them all. Oh, he hasn't played the damage ones. Yeah, that's good. That's not smite, which means I don't think I lose to it. Hmm. Okay. Reno top deck one time. Bro, what is this fucking game, man? I think I have to just go for this and just hope I get something that gains me health. I guess I could also attack into this. Still three two. I go down to four either way. Okay, this into ideally Reno. Oh, Zephyrus is huge. I believe there are some good heal cards you can give me. Basically only want heal, and I believe there's heal. Okay, I feel way safer at 12 health versus uh, 4. <laughs> Yeah, and I could kill based off no matter what he plays with Onyxia. I just have to worry about Mr. Smite. It's the only card I'm actually worried about. Uh, I could also draw Kargith Prime here, which would be nice. Yeah, it's on a Smite angle. These things don't have taunt, right? Fuck, does this have any heal? I don't know what these ancient relics are. 
Genuinely have no idea what the ancient relics are. Okay, I'm gonna play the safe. I think this is the safest play I can do. Insanely good draw. If I survive this turn, this wins me the game, I'm pretty sure. He can't develop a minion if I survive. Alright. He can't deal 14. That's like near impossible. Like. Smite. Okay, I guess he just hasn't drawn Smite yet, which is very unlikely. There's four cards. Unless he just doesn't play Smite in his list. I guess that's another possibility, but I don't know if I necessarily believe that one. Let's play, play a minion. Play a minion, please. Please play a minion. This whole play revolves around my opponent playing a minion. He hasn't played Secret Passages yet. There's second cutting class. He has two Secret Passages in there. Crypt's Cannon, Cavern Shiny Finder, and that. The last two cards are... Okay, he concedes. I'm pretty sure to see this one. All right. Got there. Never, never worried. It's like, it should be Secret Passage, Secret Passage, Shiny Finder, which means he probably cut Smite for Edwin, which I, th I think that's an awful play. Is he not playing Secret Passages? Or only one Shiny Finder? No, is a last card passage? It has to be like another Pufferfish or something, what the fuck? All right, just so I know what the fuck these are. If you cast a spell, this becomes a one cost copy of it. Add a random cost to into your hand cost one. Whenever you cast a spell, deal two damage. And make your loses one do ability. Shuffle five random spells into your deck. They cost one, draw two cards. Okay. Oh, that means I have to pick things here, right? Uh, I guess this. It's been so long since I played this card. Alright, this should be GG. I mean, I don't know what any one card in his deck... He could have at least played the card so I knew what it was. But it was like either like Swindle, Pufferfish, Chelsea Captain, is my guess. Which means he's not playing any Secret Passages, which I think is terrible. You want Secret Passage in that deck, in my opinion, so, you know. Yeah. Anyways, uh, with that being said, let's uh, queue up the next game. fuck plays warrior no one plays warrior this is a fake class um i guess this is enrage i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep this this is really good in this matchup this whole hunt's fine actually if it is enrage i mean dirty rat helps me pull one big minion or a small minion out of his hand that i can then kill with outriders axe or something so yeah if it's pirate i have all of the removal i could ever want at my opener Okay, that's a good play on turn three. This plus this on turn three, if it is in rage, uh, it's pretty solid. Dick move. I'm gonna do this. I really don't care about that card with this hand. Um, it's just more of those one of those things where it's just like I would rather him not have it. This way, my dirty rat play next turn is better. I guess this is gonna probably just develop weapon or do nothing. And if he does nothing, I mean I'm fine with that. Uh, or well, hero power is what he would do. Um, one of the good things is our deck does have significantly more late game than every other deck I think currently in the game besides Big Priest. So, 
I'm not too worried. It's beautiful. Oh, this is... I thought that was the location. I'm bad at this game. Whoops. I should have thought that was the location. Oh well. I know I don't get the, uh... I know I don't get the draw off that first one, but I think I'm fine with that. Hmm. That is not what I wanted to see. That's actually fucking awful for me. I should have killed that. Whoops. another hit of my weapon at least this is putting in the work I need it to do okay we are getting to to a point where we are close to Dragon Queen and Neptalon which is never a bad position to be in Town Crier I guess that's not the worst card to see. That's not the worst card because the only uh, Rush Minion left in our deck was uh, Cargrith Prime. Oh, I guess there's also Stone Maul, but... I mean, Stone Maul would have also been nice. I would have been able to kill his guy, draw a card, and been super ahead on board. Um, But yeah, no, my next three-turn curve is almost as good as I could possibly want it to be, so I'm not too worried about it. Um... Yeah, if he plays any minion here, Cargith Prime just takes it out, basically. I don't think anything in that deck has 10 attack. Or 10 health, even after a couple buffs. Uh, but that's the only card that's been in there since... Yeah. Ow. But it still dies to Cargith, and I get to keep the Cargith around. So I'm not too mad. And I gain 10 health, so... It only puts up to a 9... Yeah, it's a 9-10. I get a perfect kill here, and then I get to kill this, and then I go, go this into this. I, I should win this game. Uh, like, almost 100% sure I win this game. Rattlegore is also an interesting one. I love Rattlegore. Even though this card is not the most playable in the game, I fucking love this card. It's like one of those cards that if you play the Control Mirror, and you slam a Rattlegore and your opponent doesn't have anything, you probably just win because it's a fucking 9-9 threat that your opponent just most likely can't deal with. This silence is not that popular in the current meta. And yeah. Alright, so I don't actually go the play I wanted to go. Um, let's do that. That, that. I just don't want to leave Rakara on the battlefield. It's a little bit too big for me right now to deal with. Well, not really. I could have dealt with it next turn, but I'd rather play safe like this. This way, this should be his last bigger minion. If he slams it, I get to take advantage of Sneptalon to Sneptalon. Um, I should be able to just squeeze out ahead. Do that. Ah, are you giving me cards? I love it when my opponent gives me cards. It makes me feel happy. It's fine. I'll take two cards. I'll take six. Neptalon wipes his board and I win the game. Oh no, at least I'm actually with this up. It's like it's silence technically. No, I'd rather just slam this here. You know, it's a little bit awkward because like I have to double attack that, which means he gets one trigger of that. Um. I'm pretty sure I just put me far enough ahead to have this giant mini on the battlefield that it should be fine. Um, anyways though, we have time for one more game, so let's uh, queue it up real quick.
Well, I just realized I was muted. Um, I was thinking there uh, that it's Mildred, and I was also saying that it was probably our worst matchup. Um, it's like just your hope that he has uh, the draw an additional card at the start of the turn, or like both at the bottom of his deck. Um, to be fair, it could also be like a Mechathune or something like that, which is not a good matchup either. <laughs> so yeah. Also, better news. My dad brought me donuts. And they were fucking good. Uh, well, it is fucking good. I'm not done yet. But I'm gonna finish it after the recording, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you know what? That's what you should do. If you're watching now, you should pause it, go get a donut, and then come back. Donuts are just fire. Uh, zero power pass. Happens in every control. <laughs> control. Whenever you're playing a control deck versus a combo deck like this, it always happens. That is not the card I wanted to see. He just has six health, so it does survive this, which is pretty nice. Uh, I want Cargath. Cargath is such a good card. Kind of wish that card was a little bit better, but then it would be absolutely fucking busted. I think Cargath already, as it stands, is one of the better cards in the game. Well, one of the better, like, um, I guess minions with Rush. It used to be, I think, the best Rush minion in the game before Neptulon was printed. Uh, alright, so I have a couple possible plays here. I think I have to do everything in my power to kill the Vargoth. Is this, this, this? That was, like, terribly inefficient, but I think it's the play I had to go with. Um, Stone Maul next turn is actually not too bad. Because I can Stone Maul punch this, I draw a card, and then the Whirlwind. To be fair, it does kill my own Stone Maul, but... At least it does kill his guy as well. I'm also not too worried about his armor. I know I should be, but if it's... If it's Mechathune, I'm gonna win through pulling Mechathune. If it's not Mechathune, I'm gonna win through... Or if it's Mill, I'm gonna just lose to my... Okay, i probably just lose this game because he has infinite jade idols and I don't have a way to... I just know I could Theothar uh, the idols, which is an actual thing this deck can do, I guess. I just think Theotharing the idols just means we both go on forever. He just has a head start. And he has a hero power that draws him an additional card, so... Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of hero powers, I draw him an additional card. Uh, my turn here is probably be Queen Ashara. Yeah. I don't have ways to copy her, so... Um, I can just shuffle five random spells. Not that great. I think it's still just us here. Just that, that pass. Which is... It's not the best play, but it is still a play. Next time I'm gonna probably go Cargit's Blade Rider's Axe. This way, it's it's not big enough to the point where he's gonna want to poison seeds it. It's but he might feel like that is still a fair amount of pressure. That I'm potentially pushing at this point. He's just be just gaining armor. Yeah, that's what I figured. Because now the challenge is I have to kill him before he kill before the mill starts happening. Um, so I'm just gonna start going face. Try to bait out a Poison Seeds. Um, I do go for Dirty Rat, I think, next turn. Pull whatever he's holding. If he is holding anything. He might just be straight up on a mill package where he's just playing straight control until he gets to a point where he's just shuffling Jade Idols and playing one giant Jade minion and be like, you gotta deal with this bitch or you lose. To be fair, with the Oaken Summons in the deck, it has to be something big. It's not ideal, which means it could be Mechathune, but you wouldn't be playing Mechathune with Jade Idols, so it's like, genuinely have no idea what the fuck my opponent could be playing. Um, yeah. Okay, that's one. Shuffle two more in, or three more in. Okay. He's just on some really old list because no one has been playing Jasper Stealthstone. 
for a while now, and I butchered the name of that card. Um, let's just see if he has anything in his hand. Oh, I feel bad now. I would have loved to see a yaw go off. Okay. Well, that's actually not a bad one to hit. I don't want to draw a card. And this could realistically get poison seeds as well. It gives me a lot of power on board. And seeing that Zygle is not one of the biggest ones, it's also kind of like iffy type shit, but I could see it as a possibility of something my opponent would do. Yeah. Especially if he has like uh, something in hand too. Yeah. Is there a way in my deck to one mana gain one health or gain two armor? Or even one armor? See what he has in hand if he has an iron minion in hand. I don't think he does. But I mean I'm gonna play this just as a 4-4. Four, four. Just the other advantages, like if I would have had Razor uh Rattlegore on 9, it would have been a different story, but as it stands right now, he has four idols in deck. He's not summoned them yet, which is questionable in my opinion. If I was him, I'd start summoning them now, just because you can get away with it. Um, and it gives you some amount of tempo if I am, just in case I am running um, Skulking Geist, right? I think Skulking Geist could actually find its way into this deck. Maybe cut like a Treasure Guard or cut a Starfish for it, but at the same time, I do like both of those cards, so. Okay. Well, if he has poison seeds number two, he has poison seeds number two. Or else this is a fair amount of damage just going straight to his dome. I do have the late game uh, Deathwing that could help, but I don't know if that's going to make that big of a difference. This is what I'm worried about. Okay, that is not ideal. He points at season number two. He draws like basically the rest of his deck, right? Jesus Christ, okay. He's really focusing on shuffling and I do not like that personally. I really dislike that play, personally. Uh, that's, I guess that is a me thing where I think that that play is really fucking bad, but, okay. Uh, I don't know, I, I guess it's just because it doesn't respect Skulking Dice whatsoever. I think that Skulking Dice is a card he should try to respect at least, but, yeah. You should have Poison Seeds after IMO, but, um... I want to give him Town Crier. This guarantees me giving Town Crier. Yeah. Alright. Well, that was the main thing I wanted is he drew a lot of spells, so my my guess is that there was a fair amount of straight idols in his hand. He did shuffle six of them into his deck there, but the odds are still pretty favorable for me that he would have a couple straight idols in his hand. So, yeah. This just means we might just get to a point where... I mean, I lose the game in the late game anyways. Um, but he has now played double poison seeds, which means Raybotus Anixia should just be good to stick. So I'm going to use it to kill whatever he plays this turn. I'm pretty sure I get away with it no matter what, which is pretty nice. Okay. Well, if he plays that spell, I get away with it for sure. That's fine. 
That's less fine, but still okay, I guess. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I'm sorry if you guys can hear my birds going fucking ape shit. That is not ideal. I wasn't expecting just to summon all of the jade idols this turn, if I'm being honest. Okay. Brawl would be a really nice draw here. But it's not Brawl. That's a dead card. There's no other weapons in my deck. Um, I guess it's just this. I really dislike this play though. I do think this is the only uh, potentially even have. Oh, I should trade this one first. Whoops. Yeah, I missed out on an additional uh, whelp, which kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I missed out on the whelp. Oh, well. This should still have immune, and I should still have a 2 1, which would have forced a trade here before this or something. We'll trade with that into that. I'm pretty sure it's at a point where the only cards left in his deck are Jade Idols. Or if not, close to that. I mean, that doesn't really help me much, if I'm being honest. His Jadals are too big for me to actually deal with at this point. Um, yeah. I guess I could still potentially win through Rakara, but he has so much fucking health, I don't know if I can. He's not going to have any minions I'm going to care to silence, so might as well just play this now. The 12 12 looks like he's going to have to go into my 12 1, which is pretty good for me, I guess. This is he has another way to deal with the 12 1. All right. All right, we're going to get yogged and let's see how, how this works. What? I'm sorry, what the fuck? to see like a doom no okay uh, uh i don't know any if any other cards in my deck actually do anything here that doesn't uh summoning three copies of a 12 12 turned out to be really fucking good um yeah we got yogged. The yog could have been so much better for me, like if he would have hit like triple sprint um, or doom or something, it would have helped a lot. But even then, I don't know if I could have necessarily came back. I'm really far behind right now. Uh, but the yeah, no, I'm just done. 
Wait, why didn't my Reno trick? Oh, I shuffled Jadidos into my deck, lol. That was not the wisest decision on my part. Uh, and it did not matter. Yeah, th those those mill decks, I guess, are technically better late game than us, but it's only because they can go on forever. And we can't. <laughs> um. Anyways, with all that being said, this deck was a lot of fun. Uh, it shits on aggro, so if you guys are having problems with like pirate, uh, pirate rogue or uh, I have feeling beast hunter would actually be fairly favored for you if you're playing this deck. Like, you'll probably have a good win rate. Um, but yeah, I think this deck is actually pretty good. Also, some of the common decks kind of get fucked because you have like three dirty rats in your Reno deck. You could technically go up to four if you want to play Vulcan, but I'm not the biggest fan of Vulcan. I think that card is kind of bad. Um. But yeah, no. Overall, this deck was a lot of fun. Pretty fucking solid. And, and yeah. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys all in the next one where hopefully we can get some more dubs. All right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.